Okay, right. we've, had, we've had a problem here. Please. All right. We've had a big... Houston, we don't have a problem. Today we're going to talk about supersaturation. Supersaturation is kind of a weird phenomenon in the world. And it's kind of hard to make a supersaturated solution. Here I have a supersaturated solution of sodium acetate. And this is sodium acetate in the big uh, container right here. It's a white powder. So I, I put the white powder in, I added water, but how do you make it super saturated? Because super saturated is a weird concept. It's the idea that you have more than the maximum amount of solute in a given amount of solvent. How does that work? So when we talk about something called the solubility, we oftentimes look at a graph of solubility versus temperature. But let's take a moment and talk about what the word solubility means. Solubility means how much or the maximum amount that can be dissolved. And they're typically uh, shown in a graph like this, solubility. It's usually done like per 100 grams. So if I had 100 grams of a substance, like I have a beaker and I have 100, 100 milliliters of water, which is 100 grams of water, so if I have 100 milliliters of water, how many grams of the solute can I put in there? So if I'm at a given temperature, let's say I'm at this temperature here, let's say this is room temperature at 20 degrees, that means the maximum that I could put into water and dissolve would be this amount, whatever that amount is, okay? Whatever this number is over here on the graph. And if I were to add more of this stuff to it, what would happen, and by the way, when it's if you're below this line, we call that unsaturated solution, right? Because you have less than the maximum. maximum. But if you're on the line, that is said to be saturated. And if you're above the line, all right, so I'm, if I'm up here, let's say, if I'm above the line, then what you would find is you'd have a solution that would be clear, all right, but the unsaturated would have some particles. Let me put them in a different color to kind of illustrate it. They'd be here, little red dots, but they wouldn't actually be seen. It would be a clear solution. But if I put more of the dots in there and they all dissolve and I reach them to dissolve, what eventually happens is you get some powder at the bottom. So that's would be marked by the X right here. So when you are above the line, so below the line, we say it's unsaturated. Above the line, it's saturated. But I'm not talking about saturation versus unsaturation. I'm talking about something called supersaturation. That's a weird way, right? So saturated means the maximum amount, unsaturated less than the maximum amount, and supersaturated is when they have more than the maximum. It's not easy to make something that's super saturated. You have to actually trick the substance. So what you do is you have this beaker right here, and then you put it on a hot plate. And what happens is, is it heats up. And it, when it heats up, so now we go, you know, a higher, higher temperature, of course, it becomes unsaturated. And then if you carefully take it off of the hot plate, don't bump it, and just let it sit, assuming the flask or the beaker or whatever is super clear, it'll return back to this state right here, but it will then be a clear solution. And then, how do I get it to come out of solution? Well, let's watch the video. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take just a few crystals. If you look, I've just got a few little white crystals on the end of the scupola. And watch what happens when I add the crystals. Instantaneously, the solid came out of solution and it crystallized. Now we have a solid, just crazy. So when the chemical came so rapidly out of solution, why adding the little seed crystal that we did to it, to the beaker, right? We had the flask, boom, boom. We had the solution, which was clear, right? And I added the seed crystal and then boom, it all turned to like a crystal and weird solid. It, it would, it, what happens, it's, it's still, it, it all came out of solution immediately because it needed something for it to crystallize on. So it's important that these, this flask was super clean, otherwise it could even happen by itself. So that's how super saturation works. It's kind of a weird, strange thing. You have to trick it by heating it up and then letting it cool down so that you can make it happen. Houston, we don't have a problem.